Hello, welcome to Bay of Fundy Fortunes. My name is Natalie. I'm an empath, intuitive card reader, and a visionary as well. I'm here this evening to do the general monthly reading for the month of August 2017 for the sign of Sagittarius, and I am now officially three days late this 3rd of August, and I am sorry. If you just get this much going, I'd be very happy. Just a bit more. So I'm a little late, and I apologize for that, but stuff happens. But it's what, 1, 1 a.m. here now, it's 12.59. I'm putting the effort in here, guys. Okay. There we go. I have the cards. Okay, and for you guys. There you go. There you go, Sagittarius. All right. Now let's get our shuffle down, our monthly shuffle. I forgot my other cards. I do this all the time for my significator. Sorry, guys. I got rocks everywhere. Every time I go to the beach, I bring home all kinds. The most interesting rock that I found was not that long ago. It was just the other day, actually. The other evening. It's a beautiful evening. I don't know if you guys can see that. You see the blue? Look at the blues in that. It's the most amazing thing. I don't remember finding or seeing a rock down there quite like this one. It's like polka dotted. <laughs> and uh, the base of the stone is a nice earthy red color. And then there's blue and yellow through it. Isn't that strange? I think they call it a composite 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 rock because it's composed of different rocks all in one. All right. I've got my quartz all laying here, natural quartz. So this reading is for the sign of Sagittarius for the month of August 2017. If you please bring forth messages for the sign of Sagittarius. Thank you, Master the Universe, Master. What's going on for Sagittarius for August? Bring us lots of good stuff. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be doing this tonight. I don't feel tired. My eyes are tired, but that's nothing new. Wow, Jeez, what a mess. Come on now. All right. What's going on for Sagittarius? Bring us some messages for Sagittarius for the month of August for this general monthly reading. I got mosquitoes, moths, fairies, and all kinds of stuff floating around here tonight. It's a beautiful summer night here. Gorgeous summer night. And thank the good Lord, it's only one bell. One more? All right. One more. That's what I heard. One more. This is it. Let's kick some butt here. Get some good cards. Sagittarius, August 2017. Not one more. Just going to keep doing that through this whole shuffle. Okay, knock it off. Give me the flipping cards. It's only five cards. Come on. I don't know what's going on here, guys. With the shuffle. It's got to be right or it's a waste of time.
There we go. Beautiful. That felt really good. Okay, you guys get it the way you want you to. Nice big spider crawling along. Gotta love living in the country. They say to be a deceased, someone that's passed on coming in this form. There, go, go hide. <laughs> Very first card. Throw overall energy for the month, Sagittarius, to a cop's all about partnerships. It's a great card. Great, great card. Beautiful card. Card number two in your finances and your wealth is the tower. And in this deck, it is a distressed ship at sea in a perfect storm. It's your finances and wealth. Card number three, your heart's your home and your family. Beautiful placement for this. It's a three of cups. Ah, uh, reunion. Why not? It's summer, right? It makes sense. It's been showing up. <gasps> really? In the challenges position. Nine of cups. It's a wish. Hmm. Sensing a little self-sabotage off that card. Eight of swords, restrictions. This is your message from spirit. And then for those that are new, at the very end, I put one significator from tarot for the overall reading. See what we got, guys. Two of Cups, all about partnership. The very uh, most common meaning for this card, Sagittarius, is um, everlasting love, long term partnerships um, that cross the span of time for some of you. Um, this card highlights romance as well. Um, this is a card where like-minded people meet. Is it? This is what I'm hearing is this is one of these situations for some of you. This is a general reading. Please remember that. Um, this is a card of, of meeting. We meet people every day. We make friends with people every day. We have family members, people, our relatives. Um, but the people outside our families, we meet new people all the time. And some become friends for years. Some are only there for a season. Okay. And then they're gone again. And then there's then there's the others that we meet. The rare gems that we meet. The people that we encounter that whether they stay in our life for a lifetime or not, these are relationships we will never, ever forget. These are the things we carry close to us in our hearts. These people be it romantic, be it like-minded friends, soulmate, um, um, kindred spirits, this kind of thing. Um, this could be going on for some of you. Profound moments in your lifetime coming to the forefront with this card through interaction with another human being. All right. Um, these are good encounters, by the way. Let's put that out there very quickly. These are beautiful encounters, rewarding experiences. A burst of growth um, brought through this connection as well, broadening your horizons on life, um, the very essence of life itself. Realizations for some that there really is something bigger than us. There's something magical here. There's something destined. Karma is, and all these things are, you're feeling them. You're not thinking them. You're feeling them. That these are special moments. Um, and there's a certain kind of joy in the realization of that moment being extra, extra special. Um, and the person that you're encountering, extra special as well. For some of you, this will be romantic and it'll last a lifetime, just as the Two of Cups implies. Um, for the rest of you, it'll be life, love, friendships. Um, I'm hearing for some, for somebody out there, this is for just one person, that this will be a lifetime friendship, a relationship, but you won't see much of each other. This will be, span a broad hor a horizon for both of you, um, keeping track, keeping in touch, exchanging thoughts, feelings, stories, exchanging your lives um, through uh, you know, networking of, of all different kinds through letter writing and emails and, you know, the modern day chat, the modern, all this good stuff. <clears throat> um, a connection that can't be broken. 
no matter how far or how wide or how long. Connections that will never be broken for some of you. This is everlasting. Um, for some of you um, also as well, um, you you could be looking to to grow within your spirituality. You're looking for some kind of a teacher, um, where you can learn and you can you can foster and and nurture your own spirituality. Um, you don't want to go solo on this. You want to partner up with somebody. And for those of you looking for that, yes, you're probably going to find it. So that's what this card can mean for some of you. The advice of the card is to look for others to share your visions right now and work with others for greater results. Could you spin a web somewhere else? You guys must get a charge out of me. Bird critters under my kitchen sink. And Where did he go? Okay, I don't like that when I see a spider there and then all of a sudden he's gone. Where the hell did he go? Oh my gosh. I'm not afraid of them, but I don't want to be bitten either. He just disappeared. Oh, I don't like that. I like knowing where they're at so I can keep an eye on them. If you see something crawling on my head, I'm getting photobombed by a spider. Can you imagine? Oh my gosh, I'm getting all creepy crawly here now. So yeah, work with others to, to get the greatest results at this time. Sagittarius for the month of August. The keywords of partnership, creativity, communication travel, planning, um, education is highlighted as well. Inspiration is a great big thing on this. Huge, huge inspiration. Real delicious, juicy inspiration. Inspiration is a great thing. And you'll find that's your overall energy, by the way. Your um, finances and wealth is a tower and we have destruction. If you're on my back, I'm going to scream. I'm not going to stop the video either. I'll put it through. You guys get a big charge out of that. <sighs> you know what I forgot to do? I'll tell you what I forgot to do. I just finished a private reading. So I put all my candles in. That's my one for protection. I really need that right about now. And this is my intuitive candle from intuitivecandles.com. This is a tester. And it's called Blush. It's going to be called Blush Skull. But this is a tester, and I've been testing it for intuitive candles. And it's the prettiest pink. I wish you guys could really appreciate the pink. And it smells clean, <clears throat> but like a baby powder as well. For those of you that are new, sorry about stopping in the middle of the reading, but hey, whatever. This is intuitivecandles.com. Go to them, 100% soy-based candles. And each candle has a reveal. Um where you get revealed minerals and stones and gems and quartz and crystals and trees of life. They're beautiful reveals. Go to intuitivecandles.com. So, yeah, the tower. Um, some of you in the financial realm, even in the personal relationships, are people that are separating and breaking up that affects your financial stability. Finance is definitely going to change for you. Some of you are feeling like your world is falling apart right now. Um, and everything is out of your control and you have no control over everything. Tarot's here to say, if it makes you feel any better, Sagittarius, this really wasn't your fault. It's just something that happened, but it was not your fault. You didn't ask for this. You didn't bring it on yourself. But you do need to accept the change that chaos brings. And there's always a big transient change um, when chaos reigns for a little while. Um, a shock will also equal a breakthrough. Um, there'll be somebody that's going to go through some kind of a shock. Something is going to be brought to light and there'll be complete shock, but at the same time a breakthrough. There'll be like, what? And then, ah, oh, that's why that happened. That explains everything. So there's shock and then there's this revelation right on top of it. Like all oh, the lights just went on. And they've been off and you're walking around the dark and you didn't even know. So, um, this is going to give you, um, for some of you that's been walking, and I'm feeling like some of you, and I don't mean anything mean by this or derogatory, but some of you have had easy street for a little while. Things have been going very, very well. Um, some of you have worked very hard for where you are, but you're doing financially quite well. This happening, this chaos, is going to change your life financially, especially. 
um, you're going to see the world in a whole different place that you haven't for a long, long time, if ever for some of you. There's going to be some kind of a an upheaval and a change. Um, change in the ranks, I just heard. So you may need to drop your level of living a little bit. And maybe for some of you, you know, you're in a panic. It's not that bad. It's just that you've been, you've been living high, high off the hog, as they say, for such a long time. To even come down to normal standards, you'll still be doing very, very well. You just need to make some adjustments. I just heard that old expression. Is it better to be poor and never, never miss having abundant amounts of money? Or is it better to be rich? What's it like to be rich and then be poor? Is that worse? To be rich and then go back to being poor or to end up poor? Where you've never been. I'm getting the feeling off that card here for somebody out there. Um, big ch changes. It's not going to be that bad. Your fear is greater than anything else. Your expectations are not the reality. All right. So as far as your finances go, some of you have some adjustment to do. Adjusting. Sorry. I guess my mouth is getting tired too. I should just shut up, shouldn't I? Getting creepy crawly here. Look, there's bugs in here at night. And I don't know how they got in. They're getting screened right over. Um... Yeah, so you're going to feel like challenges to your security, um, your relationships as well, as I said. Um, you're going to be feeling vulnerable. This is for some. This is not for everybody. It's a general reading. Um, the advice of the card is to surrender to the universe and just, just give up control completely. If you can't get on top of things, put more trust in the universe and more trust in fate, karma, destiny, kismet, serendipity. Leave it all right there and say, all right, I just give. Um I can't, I can't clean this up. I, I don't know what to do, which way to go. Help me. Please leave me. Leave yourself open to that. It will work. You will notice a difference. You will, guaranteed, notice a difference. Um, it all starts with the, you know, if we all had the faith of a mustard seed. It's just that simple. Um, some of you that are feeling like the very foundation of your life has fallen apart around you. Some of you are going to actually be giving a bit of a boost up and giving the tools and the materials and the wherewithal to rebuild your world again, just the way it was, maybe even a little bit better. That's for some of you. All right. Um, so your, um, your keywords here, Or chaos and surrender, breakups and breakthroughs, new beginnings in a beautiful, beautiful world. And a word is enlightenment. That is the last word on this card, enlightenment. Again, when that word comes up, it's lessons learned the hard way. Life lessons, rich lessons, lessons that you will never allow yourself to have to relearn. You're not going to go through that again. You will not go through that again. You won't allow it to happen. That's what you call resilience. Your third card in your hearth and your home is the three of cups and it represents reunion. Reunion. This this card implies um, this is very close to your home. This is your friends, your family, your home life, your love, your heart, the heartbeat, whatever is your heartbeat. Gatherings with friends and family, a time of celebrations, um, weddings being announced, Weddings coming up in August as well. Weddings that, for you to attend. Reunions, um, high school reunions, family reunions, this kind of thing is going on as well. Um, parties with the ones you love. You can really be yourself. All these outings and these gatherings for some of you are going to be the best of the best. Excuse me. The best of the best of reunions and gatherings. A great time had by all. This is a really good card. There's a lot of happiness and harmony within your home, and this card shows up as well. Um, there may be a, a chance for new love um, on the horizon for a few of you during these these gatherings and reunions and uh, etc. Um, for the rest of you that have been working on some projects at home, get in the zone and throw yourself into it because I'm sensing. For some of you, some free time coming up. You're getting a break, and it was unplanned, but there's a break where you'll neither 
you'll neither need to need to be um, away from home for a little bit, um, but not completely free when at home, if you know what I mean. Um, maybe this is your vacation. You're taking your time and you're not leaving. You're not going anywhere. You're not doing anything with it. You're working on some stuff at home. This is a time to get in the zone and tackle these things. That's what I'm hearing for some of you. The advice is to be carefree and enjoy the company of those that make you laugh. Keywords are celebration of friendships, healing, fun, some flirtations in there, indulgence and creativity. I just heard it's the last month of summer. Enjoy it. Make it rock. Put a big bang out there. August, the last month of summer in my neck of the woods anyway. Now this is strange because this falls into your challenges for the month. It's nine of cups and the wish card usually brings benefits of love. Um, all beautiful things. Support, friendship, harmony ruling at home for you as well. And life basically overall is going to flourish. Um, and there could be contentment and fulfillment. But you need, here's your challenge, because everything is going so well for some of you Sagittarius. Try to remain sensitive in your everyday life and your everyday, in, in, everyday interactions with you, your fellow human beings. And try not to become smug. There may, you may find, some of you may find yourself in very short, you know, couple minute situations, run in with somebody. Um, and for some reason, smugness is coming forth. When they say, hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Um, and you're remembering, you're getting these flashbacks of, you didn't really like this person. What the hell do they care what, how you're doing or not? Um, and in situations like that, you could become smug. You haven't seen this person in a while. You don't know what's been up with them or what they've been through or where they've just come from. You need to remain sensitive in some situations, whether you like the people or not, or whether you think this is payback time for you um, to get even with them. The same and t how wonderful your life is right now and all this. Just be sensitive to the other person. Even if you're prone to really want to lay it on thick, try to hold it back just a little bit. Some of you are going to end up in that situation. Maybe two out of all of you. So it's not for everybody. Um, there's your challenge for the month. That's your big one. The card is also telling you to share your good fortune. If you're able to do so, please do so. Don't become miserly and greedy and hold on to it. Share your good fortune. Um, if it's with those of you who feel compelled to help. <clears throat> There's going to be a lot of socializing going on for you, Sagittarius, more than normal um, during the month of August. The advice is you're perfectly placed to make your dreams come true. Don't be afraid to believe. Make your wish. Send it out off to the universe. Make your wish. Your keywords are happiness and support. Love, entertainment, harmony at home, um, relationships, and a beautiful word when it's used in the proper context is abundance. All right. Your last card, your message from spirit is the Eight of Swords. A little bit of restriction going on here. All right. Right off of this card. <clears throat> Changes are going to be brought, um, brought about in your life due to restrictions. Restrictions at work. Restrictions within your relationships. Being held up and hold, held back on projects. Things that you have on the go, which is very frustrating for you. Relationships. For some of you seem to be on lockdown right now. It's not a good place you're in at all. Um, somebody wants a relationship to grow into something else. But the other party is not free to commit at this time due to job ob obligations, relationship obligations, and this kind of a thing. Um, they just don't have the time to commit. Serious family commitments going on. There could be an affair here too as well. All right. Where um, one party says, okay, enough of this affair business. Let's get on with our lives. Let's get together and let's make this happen. And the other person says, I just can't do that. I just can't pack up. I just can't walk away. I cannot do that. They are not for you because they are not free to commit. If you're happy with the status quo between you to continue the affair, that's your choice. 
but you can't expect something and force somebody to leave their life before you. This may be a realization that will be slow coming on you and something you need to stop and you need to think about. Um, and for, for others, they're just bound by way too much responsibility in their lives to take this major step in a relationship like moving in together or getting married and everything that goes with that. So the advice is to be in control of your future, but be realistic, okay? Regardless of what other people think, you need to go to the beat of your own drum. Don't be afraid to do that. Free yourself and be less tolerant of other people. When you free yourself of people that are holding you back, judging you, pointing their fingers, talking behind your back, there's a lot of gossip, and then they have friends to your face, drop people like that. Start thinning out the hurt. Just thinning out the hurt. You don't need that in your life with all this other stuff going on. Um, your keywords are separation and fear, burdens, lack of vision, being stuck, responsibility, and change. All right. Let's see what your significator is for right now. I'm going to bring them out. They better not give me a hard time like the first set did. Let's see here. These are the big boys. Big as my feet. I swear. When I pull the significator, for those of you that are new, what this does is there's something in the five card spread that really needs to be re-emphasized and brought to the forefront, then it will come out in this card. If not, there's sometimes a hidden message that really needs to stand alone on its own, needs to be spotlighted on its own, not sitting with um, several other cards. It needs to be singled out and highlighted. So let's see here. That felt really good right there for you, Sagittarius. So now I'm just going to cut the cards. And we'll find out what your significator is. Oh, the Four of Cups. That's not a bad card. All about love and hearts, emotions. Because it is the Cups. Let me pull my book, which I didn't do either. Did I? Where's my book? <laughs> Goodness, I've got such a mess here. Where my book has disappeared. Hold on, guys. There it is. I knew it couldn't be. No, that's not it. Where did my book go? Now, the Four of Cups is a good card. There's nothing that's usually a card of leisure and luxury. And how could my book just get up and walk away since nobody uses it but me? That was the first time for everything. Isn't that just the strangest thing? But the Four of Cups, yes, it's a good card. It's about leisure. It's about luxury. Um, happiness. Joyfulness. Um, all kinds of good things like that. I didn't pull my book out, did I? Unless there it is. I see it. I actually put it where it should have been. <laughs> the Four of Cups. Okay, that's Pentacles. Natalie, wake up. It's going to be your last reading for the night. I can tell you that right now. This card, see, it was worth the dig. This card can represent a positive period of self-reflection and renewal. By taking the time to go within to dream, to muse, and to reflect, you restore your emotional balance. The Four of Cups also represents kindness from other people. So what popped right back into my head again was this whole um, being sensitive to other people no matter what. Even if you just want to go off. <laughs> if you really want to like lay it on thick. Uh, if you really, really feel you're going to get something good out of that, then go ahead. But some people are completely intolerable. So when you get the chance to kind of give it back to them. Sometimes it's hard to hold back on that. Anyways, thank you very much, Sagittarius, for being here this evening and viewing this video and this reading. Um, thank you to all subscribers as well. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. Um, also, thank you to the uh, you the subscribers that have blazed a trail into Bay of Fundy Fortunes on Facebook. This is a closed private group and is full of like-minded people, full of inspiration and enlightenment. It's just a great place. We are on the 
We are like all one in your name. It is just a happy, joyful place to be. You're more than welcome to join us there. Um, also, if you um, if you like this reading, you'd like to have something private or specific just for you, we do offer that service. It's found down below this video window in the more show more section. Please read through that once. Grab my email that you see there and ship me off an email and I'll get you taken care of, usually within 24 to 48 hours um, easily. Um, so um, you can find Bay of Fundy Fortunes, not just YouTube and not just Facebook, but also on Google, on Blogspot, and on Twitter as well. I'm going to sign off for now and say good night and tell you that if anybody's ever looking for me, you can always find me right here in Bay of Fundy Fortunes or walking on my beach down below, walking along the water's edge that hold the highest tides in the world, um, the beautiful and the bountiful Bay of Fundy. And I always keep one eye on the tides at all times because I'm a high tide junkie. Therefore, you can always catch me waiting on the next high tide. Thank you very much. Hope to see you all back here in about a week's time and begin the weeklies to follow the month of August through. Bye for now, Sagittarius. Have a great August.